Let's talk about different types of blowdown on a boiler. On a fire tube boiler like this, we basically have three main types of blowdown. We've got our low water cutoff and sight glass blowdown. We've got a surface skimmer or continuous blowdown. And we've got a bottom blowdown. Each of these blowdowns has a different procedure and has a different purpose. Our safety or low water cutoff blowdowns is designed to verify that our low water cutoff is operating correctly and to clean that float chamber so that it continues to work correctly. So let me demonstrate that. First, it's important to wear correct PPE anytime we're opening and closing valves on a boiler. So in this case, that would be gloves. First, let's blow down our low water cutoff. When we do our low water cutoff blowdown, we don't want to thermally shock that piping. So I'm going to crack the valve and just allow a small amount of flow to preheat that piping. Once I'm confident that piping's warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and open this valve all the way, which is going to trip the boiler off on low water. As soon as that trips, I'm going to go ahead and close the valve and let the boiler return to normal operation. If I've got any cloudiness on my sight glass, I can also do a sight glass blowdown. Now once we've done that, the boiler's going to go through the process of relighting. While it's doing that, I may go ahead and take uh, the information from my chemical testing on my conductivity and look at that reading. From today's chemical readings, I've got a conductivity of about 1200 on my boiler. And that's below where I normally want to allow the conductivity to be on this. So if I've got a manual conductivity skimming surface blowdown, I can throttle this closed a little bit. And what that's going to do is reduce the amount of water going to drain through the day and allow my conductivity to rise back up to the optimal levels. If my reading was high, I would open it a little bit and that way more surface blowdown would occur and my conductivity would come down. So I'm steering the conductivity on my boiler with this valve. Now in this case at Boiler U, we have an automated conductivity control system. So we can take a look on the control screen and see what we're doing there. Our automated system at specific intervals takes a sample of the conductivity just like we would when we do chemical testing and it's going to determine whether we're at or below or above set point and adjust our servo angle accordingly. That takes a lot of the manual operation out of the surface skimming. Now that we went ahead and verified the operation of our automatic conductivity control, we'll go back and do our bottom blowdown. We know from our chemical testing that our conductivity is on the low side. So we still need to do a bottom blowdown, but we're going to do a minimal duration because we don't need to blow down the bottom any more than just the a standard short blowdown. The ASME procedure for bottom blowdown is to first open the quick valve with the slow open valve closed so that we don't have any extended flow through that valve. Then we'll open the slow open valve for a, our determined amount of time. Because our conductivity is low, I'm just going to open it to the full open position and then I'm going to close it again. Once that's reclosed, I'll close my quick open. Sometimes it's recommended to go ahead and crack that slow open valve then to bleed the pressure in between the valves and then reclose it. If conductivity had been high on the boiler, I could have extended that blowdown in the open position maybe five seconds, 10 seconds before closing it, and that's going to help get the boiler conductivity down simply by dumping more water. I don't really want to do a bottom blowdown longer 
than 10 or 15 seconds max because I could actually run the boiler low on water. I don't want to do that. So I'd be better off doing a second blowdown in maybe four hours to bring that conductivity down if I need to. On this boiler, our low water cutoff blowdown piping is shared with the bottom blowdown. So when I did my low water cutoff testing, I actually preheated this line. So I don't need to hesitate when I do this blowdown. But if we've got separate blowdown lines, or if this line is quite lengthy to our blowdown separator, this line could be cold. And that gives you the potential for water hammer or steam hammer. So if you've got a long unheated run to your separator tank, you may want to crack this first valve for a few moments to allow that to preheat before opening it fully. And that's going to prevent you from having hammer in that piping. Well, appreciate Jude stepping in because we were at PowerGen and we appreciate you coming by and seeing us at the booth. Blowdown is so very important. Make sure that you're doing it um, in your boiler room. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, share all the videos that we have out there. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.